Hey guys, it's Coach. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to our Indianapolis Colts rebuild. Uh, first, I want to start off with saying thanks to everybody uh, for commenting and subscribing and uh, taking their time to watch the, uh, my last video. It's the most successful video I've ever had. I've been making videos uh, over a year now. Um, so I'm very grateful. Thank you guys. Hopefully we can keep it going and uh, keep it entertaining. Uh, I see everybody that loves these Colts. So we'll start off with some uh, Jonathan Taylor love here. 43 carries, 231, and two rushing touchdowns. Um, took over like normal. I mean, Matt Ryan did his thing as well. We destroyed San Fran. So here we go. Huge game. I know Tennessee, it says they're 2-5, and five, but they you know, they got Derrick Henry. They got Kevin Byer. They got a pretty good defense. Um, I don't know if they're rocking with Tannehill still or if they made the change to uh, Malik Willis that they drafted. Um, in real life, if they're 2-5, and five, they're going to switch to the rookie, so it'd be interesting to see what they're doing right now. Um, but let's let's jump right in this and see what happened. This is huge for the division. Uh, the Texans are on our heels, even though we beat them, but we got the Jags coming up um, in a couple weeks as well. So Tennessee coming to the shoe. Let's see what we can do here. I, um, I did mess around with the sliders a little bit, try to make it their offense, um, the computer offense, a little more successful. I am on all Madden. Um, but I downloaded some sliders, so hopefully it helps out a little bit. Uh, make, made our team a little uh, worse with sliders and made their team a little better. I'm trying to make it more fun. I mean, we're absolutely destroying teams. So let's see if we can come out and do against the Titans. Uh, you know, they traded A.J. Brown on draft day. They um, drafted a rookie. I think his name's Trayvon Burks or something like that. So he's their number one guy right now. Uh, they didn't really do much to help Tannehill succeed, in my opinion. But um, speaking of draft days, the Colts killed it on draft day um, and uh, did a great job to build around Matt Ryan, to build around the future MVP, Jonathan Taylor. There's Gilmore that they signed. There's two rookies in right now, three rookies, left tackle, Ryman, and they drafted Woods. They drafted Ogletree. And they drafted another receiver. He's not in the game right now. Uh, Alex Pierce. Every episode, I'm going to say how in a few years you're going to see it. He was the best available wide receiver in the draft. And um, I think you guys are going to see that in a few years once he gets out here. Especially if they re-sign T.Y. like we did in this game. Get some veteran help out here. To, oh, uh, to you know, mentor him a little bit and um, help him get going. It's going to be a lot of fun to see what this team can do. And uh, like I said in my last video, uh, Matt Ryan haters watch this. Oh, come on. Get out of my way. Um, he went off. Uh, I think he threw for 505 touchdowns or something like that. He just uh, – people hate on him. I don't know why. I think he's going to come out and prove it. I think he's a future Hall of Famer. I mean, I really do. I guess we will find out. Oof, almost a horrible throw right after I said he's a future Hall of Famer. They sent their best player, Byard, after us, so I just threw it as soon as I could. All right, let's run left here, see if Ogletree can block a little bit. He'll just run over Kevin Byard. That's fine. Jonathan Taylor doesn't care about anybody. Nobody's safe with him around. He's so much fun. This whole team is so much fun. I'm excited to keep pushing these videos out, and uh, you guys are enjoying it too, so it makes it so much more fun. Is that Ogletree? It is. There goes the big fella. So they took two tight ends in this draft. I think Ogletree might have gone in the sixth round. Uh, he was super late. I think he was their last pick maybe. I could be wrong. I know they took Nick Cross at safety, um, and then they took Ryman at the left tackle, and they took Alex Pierce second round, and the other tight end, Woods, the guy I'm in love with, uh, in the third round. They didn't have a first round pick, so. Off to the races, 7-0. <laughs> Hopefully it um, gets a little more competitive when we play some other teams going down the road. I don't want it to get boring, but um, coming, uh, hey, I'm going to take advantage of some wins when I can. All Madden is the devil sometimes. When I'm playing my other series with the bears man it is almost impossible to do anything there's alec pierce but i guess this team's just so good it just you know it just shows how great this team is that uh ballard put together for uh 
Indianapolis. Let's go back to the ground. We got our two rookie tight ends in. Jordan Atkins is still hurt. We're going to follow our pulling guard through there. Riley Reef. <laughs> I'll mess his name up again. If they send pressure, we should have easy throw to Hilton. We'll just check it down to the rookie. The pressure was quick, quick. Big Wood, 6'7", 270 pounds. This kid's going to be special. He's not going to be relied on the block much. Um, so he's just going to go out and make some plays. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Comeback route. There's another dude that's going to be really special. We got Michael Pittman Jr. We did lose him for five weeks, but he's came back and done nothing but be sure-handed, gone up and make some plays. He's a super talent. I mean, everyone on his team is a super talent, so. As you can hear, I'm a little excited. I'm having a lot of fun, and the success the video got was pretty cool. I was watching the numbers all day, and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So, you, you Colts fans are crazy. Um, but let's go back to the air here. Uh, might go Pierce on a go, maybe, to try to get um, Bayard to step down. Let's see. He did step down, but I'm not going to. We'll just set our feet, throw it to T.Y., get the first down. Old reliable T.Y. Hilton. Um, I, he's had a very good season. Uh, signed him to a one-year deal. I thought it'd be a realistic thing, you know. And then he did come out and say that he would. Um, he's coming back. So uh, he came up yesterday, I do believe, said he's coming back. And obviously the Colts are on his list. Um, why wouldn't they be? You know what I mean? And um, so, but he wants a deal, and he wants an expensive deal. Can I get that in there? Oh, he ran out of the end zone, the rookie Pierce. But he wants an expensive deal. He wanted to hit us for, I think it was two years, 40 mil or something. And, I mean, I'll leave that up to you guys, but I don't know if we do that. It's going to be hard to do with um, all this talent at receiver. As Jonathan Taylor just... Puts his hand on the back of the tackle and walks his way in the end zone. Dude's a beast. Defense with another stop. Uh, but like I was saying, do we re-sign him or do we go with the young guys? Uh, we're going to have Pittman, Alec Pierce. Um, oh, good tackle. And they also have um, Campbell, another young guy that they've uh, drafted, I think, last year or the year before. So they're going to have some guys. Oh, there's Campbell, actually, on the left, I do believe. No, that is uh, Hines. Oh, boy. I think I can get it in there. That is so lucky to lob it over his head. Good throw. Good catch. Nine for nine, 141, one touchdown. Matt Ryan's having a great season. I, You know, it's easy when you have the best O-line in football and Jonathan Taylor on your team. So, just turn around, hand it off, and then don't turn the ball over. I go over the offensive line every episode. You got rookie left tackle Ryman, best offensive lineman in the game, Quentin Nelson at left guard. You got Ryan Kelly. Uh, I never want to turn a trap up, but there was nothing there. You got Ryan Kelly at center. Uh, right guard is the only spot that we're probably going to look for in the offseason. I picked up Reef, um, a veteran presence. And right tackle's uh, Braden Smith. He's a beast, too. Just check it down to Hines. Runs him over. Man, got to be the best backup running back in football. It's crazy that this kid's a backup. He could start for so many different teams, and he's just sitting here, you know, breaking tackles, coming off the bench. I'm using him as a third down back. He's very shifty. It gives Jonathan Taylor a break. Obviously, Taylor is good enough to play three downs, or, yeah, every down. But um, when you have someone this special as a second, you know, weapon – out of the backfield, you got to go for it. So just throw it in there. We got a minute 45. We're going to go right back to the hurry up. I want the comeback to the left. We're going to read the safety and see what happens. Might be able to throw it there. This dude's a stud. Did they say he was in? He's got to be in, right? He got both feet. Michael Pittman on the comeback route is broken. He just He's so big and quick. He just gets out of his break. And make some plays. Pierce over there tapping his head. We're going to... Ah, oh, the pressure's there. But T.Y., can he beat him to the end zone? Close. 
We're not going to hurry up offense, but we do have three timeouts. I didn't want to hurry up because I want to get Jonathan Taylor back in the game for a goal line, obviously. We're going to run it right. I'm not sure if we're going to turn it back up and just try to get a couple yards. Nothing there. Honestly, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen him lose a yard. <laughs> so, uh, Woods is going to switch. We're going to put our linemen in the backfield. I don't think it really matters. We don't have enough. Wow. We don't have enough tight ends right now with Jordan Atkins out. So, hey, this is going to be, do I, I mean, we're up two scores. Do I go crazy and try to throw it, or do I take the points? Let's just take the points. We need this win. Watch me miss it. Okay, we should be good. I'm usually really aggressive, but it's a um, division opponent. We need all these wins to pull away from the Texans. Um, and we're going to win a Super Bowl our first year. I have a really good feeling. I mean, we haven't played any of the good teams, like the Bengals or the Chiefs or um, Ravens or, you know, Bills yet. The Bills are coming up. I'm excited for that one because it, it's going to give us an opportunity to actually play a team that, you know, they're good on offense and defense, so. We're, um, I mean, we're really, really good, but I don't, I mean, we got the Jags coming up and the Jets, so, I mean, we're not going to have many, um, opportunities to, oh, no, set the feet, throw back to T.Y., no, all right, I mean, that's, I didn't really set the feet, in my brain, I did, I don't like going four verts, and they know we're going four verts, they roll back to two high, Tampa two, we should be one-on-one, -on -one. And we are. Throws it in there. The rookie makes a tough catch in traffic. Love to see that. Woods is a bad dude. Let's go play action. Let's keep feeding off of uh, Jonathan Taylor being so good. T.Y. probably going to be open on this. It looks like they're in uh, cover two again. They rolled up. I am going to throw it to T.Y. I just read the safety. If you're ever looking at a drag route, just read the safety, the drag or the dig, whatever. It's going to roll either in front or behind the linebackers. And um, just read that safety. And if he steps back, then you're good to go. Just run him off. I'm on the other end uh, in real life. I What are you doing, Woods? I call, um, I call the defensive plays for a high school, so... Always thinking about stuff like that. That's why I kind of just let the computer, uh, I do coaches selections because if I sat here, I would sit here and analyze every play. Like, oh, what are they going to do? What are they going to run on defense? And I would, we would just sit here. Oh, Jonathan Taylor's a beast. Runs through their best player. 17 for 41. Off day. I said that last week. He ends up with 235 yards. So, Let's go back to the ground. That's fine. We got him in a nickel. So let's take advantage of the nickel. We'll run left. I like the numbers to the left. See if Nelson can get to the next level. He does. No, what a tackle. Former Bengal, Larry Ogajovi. Dang it. We were gone there too. Great tackle. Second and eight. Man, they're stuffing it. They're stuffing the run. Oh, no. Not again. Pittman goes down for the second time this year. He missed five weeks last time. I really like Woods right here. Let's Once again, watch the safety. And then throw it behind him. Oh, what a play by that linebacker, by the way. There goes our rookie left tackle. Pittman has a foot fracture. I'm going to say that's, you know, what? Foot fracture, four, five, six weeks, somewhere in there. No luck with Pittman at all but we're gonna take the three here we took a chance in the end zone blanket ships money hopefully our defense steps up hopefully Ryman's not out for a long time as well he's not in the game right now that doesn't make me feel great Pryor is only like a 69 at left tackle so we are in big time trouble if Ryman's out for a long time shoulder strain we're up big. I'm going to let him chill and rest for a second. We're going to come out go play action. I really hope. I think Bud Dupree's over there. He's one of the guys. I'm pretty sure he's here. Let's see what we can do. Too high. Can we get it to Alex Pierce on the sideline? Yes, we can. Great throw. Great catch. If they're just going to keep playing this too high safety, I'm going to keep running drag routes underneath and digs and uh, comebacks. 
is rhyming back. No, he's not. So we're going to switch it and run it to the right. Kelly, Reef, and we're going to cut it back. Nothing going there, but I'll just take what I can get. 21 for 48. Worst game of the year for our guy, Jonathan Taylor. Totally fine, though. I mean, he can't get you know, 200 yards every game, right? So back to the play action. Pryor still in, but we're going to send some help over with Woods. Oh, man. Woo. Oh, flag. I didn't get out of the tackle box. I panicked. No one even touched him. That is tough. So it's a loss of down and 15. And our backup left tackle's out. So our starting left tackle and backup left tackle go down. No idea what this is about to look like. Oh, no. I bet that man is like a yikes we might just force one let's just check it down get what we can get there's campbell that i was talking about earlier he's a great player it's crazy to think that he comes in as the fourth guy the injury bug has hit us ryman needs to come back in i mean i want him to be healthy obviously we're up big but um what a horrible punt that's all me. I'm sitting here stressing about Ryman being out. I know he's going to come back. It was just a medium risk injury. They go down and score 20 to 10. Oh, boy. All right, he's back. Thank God. All right, run this thing to the left. Hopefully he doesn't get hurt again. I was hoping Woods would stretch the edge with me. 22 for 47. He's having a bad game. Not great. We're going to go back to it, though. We're going to go back to the run. Obviously, we're never giving up on Jonathan Taylor. Woods got stuck in there, running through some guys. 23 for 53. Ooh, man. Here we come again, too high. I don't like what Woods is running. We're going to run a slant to just clear it up. Oh, we got so lucky that Byard ran into his own teammate. I audible to that because I knew Byer would have to chase through traffic, and it worked out for us. They just keep sitting there in the too high, so let's just take advantage of it. Gets a couple yards. Shoo. <laughs> Every time that injury pops up, I get a little scared. All right, close game. Hey, this is what I wanted. So you can tell that I adjusted the sliders a little bit jonathan taylor can't even get going this game and he usually just runs over everybody so woods okay right on cue runs over a guy he just tells me to shut up i love that so much about this team every time i talk about somebody like last week or the week before i think ty hilton gets three touchdowns after i said i'm no way i'm paying him 40 million dollars i love it so here we go let's go back to the ground with him uh, let's go left. There's a lot of numbers over there to the right side. Good job. Run through him. He's got his takeover. It's about to get ugly. He's going to get over 100 yards again, it looks like. We're going to stretch it left again. Turn it up. Runs through a guy. Scores a touchdown. Jonathan Taylor cannot be contained. It's over now since he has his takeover. Defense stops him again. Let's just run it right at him. Is he, um, I'll show you real quick. He has freight train, so uh, increased chance to break a tackle um, every attempt. So, As you see, he broke the first one. Look like a face mask, but he's going to get over 100 yards, and which is crazy. This is probably his worst game yet, and he's still going to get over 100 yards. We're going to go play action. Put Hilton on a slant instead, so I have something backside. We're just going to take the sack. We, every time we go play action, Smith doesn't block anybody. I saw it come in, but I wasn't going to force it, so we just sat there and ate it. Totally fine. Two minutes, 25. Pretty good lead. T.Y. on a drag. Give us a short route just in case we need something. We're going to go Pierce. See if he can go one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, against a linebacker, I had to take the shot. Matt Ryan, 19 for 22. 282 and a touchdown. The dude is playing great. Let's angle this out. We'll go right about there. Hopefully this works for us. Get it inside the 20. Help our defense. There we go. Good blocking. Wow. It's all right. Still got him inside the 20. Or 21. I guess they're going to give him forward progress to the 21. 
It's all right. Help our defense out there. I guess we could have kicked it through the end zone. It would have worked out better, but our defense is amazing. All right, here we go. This game's over because we got Jonathan Taylor just hand it off and run guys over like that. So they're going to start using their timeouts, but we're going to come out of this with another big W. This team is on a roll. We did lose Michael Pittman again. Um, I'm assuming that foot fracture is going to be multiple weeks, which really sucks. Oh, I can get this outside. I'm going to run Byron over real quick. Runs through him. <laughs> this dude's so gross. And the crazy thing is, they hit it spot on. This is what he does week after week in the NFL. You check, you know, fantasy scores or whatever, and Jonathan Taylor's putting up these numbers every single week. Just how amazing is he going to be this year with a passing game? He didn't have much with Wentz last year. Wentz was hurt every single day. Um, but imagine how good he's going to be. They knew he was going to run the ball every play last year, but this year he's going to have some help. They drafted a ton to help the offense. So I, it's going to be crazy to see what he does. We're going to let this clock run out. 32 carries. Er, um, man, I can't believe he got to 32. <laughs> it wasn't looking good there for a minute. He had 41 yards at one point in the third quarter, but he seems to do this every week. That, like you can quote, that's one of my quotes. Man, he's having a bad game or. Wow, they finally held him, and then he just comes out and does this every single week. We're going to take the knee in victory formation in the shoe, hometown crowd. We're going to walk out of here with a win, 26-10. to 10. I could be a jerk and kick it, and I'm going to because points are points, and why not? Just kick it through and walk away. Oh, they might block it. That's for the hometown team right there. Got to make the numbers look better. 29 to 10, finishing off. Vrabel's not happy. Let's go take a look at the numbers. We held, it was Tannehill. Uh, we held him to 61%, and he had an interception. Matt Ryan, 133.9 rating, 19 for 22, 282, 86% completion, and one touchdown. He doesn't turn the ball over. And. There he goes again, Jonathan Taylor, 32 carries, 122, and two touchdowns. I said I wanted to throw it 25 times a game-ish. I'm yeah, pretty close. Woods, our rookie tight end, has every time, every game since he's stepped in for um, Atkins, he's been our leading receiver, I think. Five for 74, no drops. Pittman, four for 61. He was going off, again, injury. I'm afraid the foot fracture is going to be a long time. Alec Pierce, second-round draft pick. Three for 44. He did have a drop, but it was more of a jump ball. So three for 36 for the old man, T.Y. Ogletree, two for 49 and a touchdown. Love to see it. Quentin Nelson, best lineman in the game, two pancakes. No sacks allowed. I could have sworn we – I don't think that's true. We gave up a sack for sure. Um, Gilmore led us in tackles. Wow. Darius Leonard's always on there. Blackman, tackle for loss. Uh, Grover Stewart. He's always making some plays. I mean, I guess it's easy to, easier to make plays when they're probably double-teaming Buckner every play, but hey. Uh, Stewart also had a sack. Payne had a sack. Uh, Yannick, the guy who you guys keep trying to teach me how to say his name in the comments section, I appreciate it. Um, and Goku, I guess. I don't know. I'm still terrible at it. Our winner reception was Darius Leonard. Okay, flying around, making plays all over the place. I don't think there was any fumbles to be seen. But uh, once again, big time game. Come out of here with a win in the shoe. Big time division win. Once again, I'm very grateful for you guys. My last video uh, was the biggest, like I said, the biggest uh, video I've ever had. So it makes me keep coming back. I'm going to push out so many videos. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Keep commenting. Keep liking. And um, I appreciate it. I'm so very grateful. Thank you guys. See you in the next one.